This is Matt Russell from the FX Power Course, and welcome to the Daily FX Walkthrough. So here are the four pairs that I will be discussing this evening, the Euro Pound, the Aussie Kiwi, the Pound Swiss, and the Euro Swiss. So let's go ahead and pull up the charts. The first chart is the Euro Pound, and this is the simple support line that I've been using uh, for the past 10 or ten reports or so now. And as I mentioned uh, during yesterday's, and, and actually I think two reports back, uh, a potential long trade based on the low uh, of these candles over here. Prices then did uh, rebound sharply. And if you're in this trade, I would continue to hold the trade and target this upper uh, previous support line, which should now act as resistance moving forward. However, uh, the thing to think about here is if you f you're flat and you have no position, the stop should be located just beneath that 80 figure, uh, excuse me, that 88 figure. Um, so right now prices are a little bit too far away to justify a favorable risk reward. So if you are flat, I would just sit on the sidelines. The next chart is the Aussie Kiwi. Not much has changed here. Again, that, that bounce off that 38.2 fib continues. I've been speaking about uh, forever now, uh, at least for the past 10 or 15 reports. Uh, so moving forward now, I was mentioning during the past several reports that I'm looking for a potential for a short trade to set up here. Uh, this would again be a very low uh, confidence trade idea, but using the most recent high uh, of this candlestick right here, which is 27.55, we might use that as our reference point. We'd, we'd place our stop at 27, maybe 65, uh, but I would personally have to, I would need prices to get up close enough there where I'm only risking about 50 pips or so uh, in the trade. Again, I think there, the chances for a reversal in this pair to the downside uh, are good. It's just a matter, obviously, of timing it correctly and taking the least amount of risk uh, to try and participate in that down move. The next chart is the pound Swiss, and this is the daily chart. Once again, I mentioned yesterday we had that close beneath the uh, 169.50 area, which is what I was waiting for to get me excited about a possible short trade in the pair. Uh, right now, price is 69.27. Uh, I still like this short trade idea, uh, again, but a little bit low confidence uh, trade idea as well. So moving forward here, if you entered this trade, maybe even entering uh, near the 69.40 area, placing our, your stop maybe just beneath that 170 figure. Again, keeping that risk low, uh, but if, if the pair does reverse and move down here, the target would be this longer term support line, and that's a you know about a 500 pip move. So the reward is very high, and it's worth the, the risk in my mind, even if let's say there's a 30% chance of the trade working out, if you're only risking 50 pips and you're making 500 pips, uh, the odds are in your favor. The next chart is the Euro Swiss, and not much has changed here either. Uh, as I was mentioning, this is a longer term resistance line. This is a bull flag pattern which prices have broken out from. I'm uh, not, ve not very confident only because prices are kind of going sideways here. What you want to see from a bull flag is prices exploding and hitting this candlestick maybe two or three candles after the breakout. Obviously that, that, that has not occurred here. What I was speaking about on the more shorter term uh, during my past several reports is to uh, possible en enter a trade, placing your stop beneath the low of this doji candle right here which is about 50.80. Uh, during yesterday's session, prices came down, uh, didn't quite get to 50.80. I believe the low was uh, 50.82. Uh, so if you're still in this trade, I would continue to hold the trade, again, with a stop maybe in the 50.70 or 50.65 area. And again, the target for that trade is that longer term resistance line. Again, this is the, the daily chart. Again, my name is Matt Russell. I'm an FX Power Course instructor here at FXCM. Thanks for listening.